enough. Alright, welcome back to the channel. This video is called the best one-handed recip saw for a reason. We have the best one-handed recip saw right now, the fastest, perhaps the most powerful. But this flex one-handed recip saw has two features right off the bat that the Milwaukee does not have. And it might have another hidden one that neither of us knew about. And we're gonna find out together right now. I get a lot of comments, hey, you should test your videos and, and, and do some test cuts to make sure you know what the tool's gonna do. I find it a lot more fun for you guys to be on this journey with me. Uh, none of my videos are ever staged. This is my idea. We're gonna take a clamp And we are going to see if we can get this recip saw in a bind. And we're going to find out the motor strength. Back whenever I had the two-handed recip saw from Flex, arguably one of the best recip saws ever, um, I was too sick to be able to do a video on it. And the thing was just too powerful, it was too much of a monster. I ended up returning it because it was just so big. I wanted to wait for the one-handed reset. So we have the one-handed reset now, and I've been super happy with it. But these motors are just really, really powerful. They really are. Uh, both of these saws are excellent. Here's the plan. Our plan is to put a clamp here, here. And then try to cut this in half because we're going for functionality here, right? What's the point in having a one hand recip saw if you can't do one hand sketchy stuff with it? So I want to be able to do one handed sketchy things with my one handed recip saw, it just makes sense. That's the whole point of these. One hand on the trigger, the other hand on the workpiece, and let her rip. So, what we're gonna do, we're gonna try to make a cross cut here, and we're gonna go this way, that way I don't cut my vise. And, um, actually, no, we're not. No, we're not. We're actually gonna start here and let it get into a bind here. That's what we're gonna do because. I have a feeling they will, and I found a piece with three knots. We're gonna do one cut here, and the other cut's gonna be here. And we're just gonna see. I don't know if you can tell, but I can't get any more on this. It's, it's not even going for me. And you can see it's pretty darn tight, so that's definitely enough of a bind. Okay. Two brand new blades, one for each saw. Now up first is the Milwaukee. Now to insert the blade in the Milwaukee, you gotta roll this this way and then push that down and then let go. We're gonna use a high output 3.0 we're gonna use a standard 2.5 for the flex. What we're gonna do, we're actually gonna cut this blade to make sure I don't make contact with this clamp. Good enough? All right, here we go. One-handed, remember, so I'm gonna be pushing as hard as I can this way. One-handed, let's see. Uh, also gonna be pushing with my chest here. Here we go. Cool. You can 
see here already in a couple of knots. the blade on the flex you just twist that pull it out get your new blade there and pop it in and for me uh, that feature right there is enough to switch honestly um, tried and true but th there's no excuse at this point it's 2022 So if we can go up here by the knot. I, I don't know if more pressure is going to affect it because it's closer. We're going to find out. If not, we'll do two more cuts on each one. Like I said, not staged. Here we go. All right, so this is my theory, okay? I'm gonna be pushing really hard on this. Let's see if we can bog the motor down. That's that's kind of the whole point of this, is does the motor bog down? Let's see. That's, that's a long cut. That's done pretty quick. Let's get the Milwaukee in. Both fantastic tools. But, you know what this one does not have? Quick release. Actually. Yeah, there we go. So there you go. I still think the Milwaukee is faster. Once the stack lithium comes out, it's game over really is. You can see the difference in the DeWalt's. Seven. Oh wait, hang on. 1.7. Uh, here's an eight. With no high output. Standard packs. This is a high output. Yeah, you can hear the difference in that. So if you can hear the difference where the high output versus the standard batteries and two more amp hours difference, same voltage, right? That you get from a 1.7. Imagine what this is gonna do with stack because we haven't even seen it yet. Lowe's is starting to carry some bare tools now. This was a bear tool now. This is a bear tool. They got they got some bear tools coming out. Uh, even their oscillating tool can be bought as a bear tool. Uh, it's about time. This right here with the quick blade eject and the quick blade insert. It's just too good. As far as I'm concerned. So let me know what you think in the comments below. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one.